Hello and welcome to this 14th Sunday of Ordinary Time. The theme today that links all the readings seems to be that of the rejected prophet. The Lord instructs the prophet that he is to stand by his message, even though it will meet with rejection from a rebellious people. The message will be vindicated in due course. It's against this background that the Gospel of St Mark describes Jesus' return to his hometown in Nazareth. He is accompanied by his disciples, who are now beginning to constitute his new family, distinct from the members of his original family. When on the Sabbath day, Jesus begins to teach in the synagogue, his former townsfolk are amazed at his authority and the wisdom of his words. Today's readings invite us to reflect on the power of God's love and the call to share that love with others, even in the face of rejection and opposition. Yet God commands Ezekiel to speak his words to them, whether they listen or refuse. This reflects the persistent and merciful love of God, who never gives up on his people, even when they stubbornly resist him. In the Gospel, as we said, we see Jesus returning to his hometown of Nazareth. He is only to be met with scepticism and unbelief from the very people who should have recognised him. Despite their lack of faith, Jesus does not withdraw or retaliate, but continues to teach and to minister to them with compassion. This is a powerful example of self-emptying love that Jesus calls us to imitate. As Pope Benedict reminded us, God does not domineer but loves without measure. He does not express his omnipotence in punishment but in mercy and forgiveness. Even when faced with rejection, the Lord persists in offering his saving grace. We are called to follow in the footsteps of Christ, to be ambassadors for Christ, and to bring the good news of God's love to a world that so desperately needs it. This may not always be easy. In fact, Jesus warns us that we will face opposition and hostility, just as he did. But we must not be discouraged. Pope Francis reminds us, the love that impelled Jesus to sacrifice himself for us transforms us and makes us capable of in turn of following him faithfully. It is the transformative love that empowers us to persevere even in the face of rejection. So let us fix our eyes on the Lord, trusting in his mercy and strength, And let us go forth with hearts full of compassion to share the good news of salvation with all whom we come into contact with. For the Lord is faithful and his love endures forever. Progress in the spiritual life, growth in the spirit, almost always shows itself in its ability to recognise God more and more in the ordinary, in the everyday things. That is why the great saints never stopped wondering. They never stopped wondering about the mysterious presence of God that they constantly sensed all around them. The full meaning of the incarnation is not only that the Son of God became a human being, but he took in human form. He was born into a town of ordinary and insignificant people, and particularly in a place that was so out of the way as Nazareth. Perhaps we have to identify and name the Nazareth in our own selves. What is the ordinariness of our lives? God bless you.